In this unit, we will explore an introduction to computers. To start off with, we need to explore what is a computer. A computer is an electronic device operating under the control of instructions stored in its own memory that can do the following. Accept data, process the data according to specified rules, as produce results for output, and store results for future use. There are many different components to a computer. Computers contain input devices, such as keyboards, a mouse, um, biometric input. They have output devices, such as printers and monitors. They have storage capability built within the computer, such as a hard drive, but there are also other external storage devices that you may use, such as USB drives and network drives and things of that nature. There are multiple types of computers. We have personal computers, and those can be done for input, processing, and output. It's all by itself. Um, so that could be either a desktop computer, or a laptop computer, which is a little bit more mobile for you. The next one is actually mobile devices. And don't confuse that with a laptop computer. A mobile device would be a smartphone, an iPad, or something of that nature, a tablet PC. The system unit contains the electronic components of the computer used to process data. There is a processor, which is the central processing unit, or CPU, and this is what does the basic instructions that operate the computer, and it can do arithmetic and logic. And then there's RAM, which is random access memory, and this consists of electronic components that store instructions waiting to be executed. If you reboot a computer, the RAM is cleared out. So RAM is short-term memory that's used while a computer is running. RAM does not require any moving components, so therefore it makes very quick retrieval. We've already discussed output devices, and one of which was a printer. And there are multiple types of printers. There are inkjet printers. And what those do is spray ink on a printer, or on a piece of paper. There are photo printers, which are a higher level printer to make um, better quality images, such as photos. There are laser printers, which actually fuse toner to a page. Um, this is usually a more um, expensive means of printing um, however, on a per page basis, actually um, can be cheaper. Um, the cartridges and the hardware itself, though, can be a little bit more expensive to purchase up front. And then there's all in one devices. These devices are scanners, printers, um, some are fax machines, all built into one. Storage devices, as we've already spoken about at the beginning of this presentation, those include the hard drive on your computer, which includes a platter that spins. This spinning platter has circular patterns that use magnetic particles to store data, instructions, and information. When dealing with these, um, you can delete information. However, what it's doing is it's marking it for overwrite or removal. So therefore, when you delete something from your computer, it's not truly gone. It could be picked up um, by sensitive um, hard disk reading utilities or devices. The external disks, um, there's quite a few different options. The most commonly used now would be a USB plug-in memory stick, um, or the flash cards that go inside cameras, for example, or an iPhone or a smartphone. Computers usually communicate. Uh, one way is through a modem, 
And what a modem does is connects through a telephone line and speaks with another computer, sending and transmitting data. There's also network cards, which is probably what you're using to connect to the internet, um, unless you're using dial-up. And what this does is it transmits over a network connection, which usually goes to your modem that's provided by your DSL or cable company. Computer software. There's two types of software that run on your computer. The first one is system software. System software is your operating system or utility programs that actually run the computer itself. Um, so an example of an operating system would be Windows. Other software um, consists of a related series of instructions and they have a common purpose. So for example, Microsoft Word, um, Firefox, Web Browser. Those have a specific task and they run on top of the system software or the operating system. In this class, we are going to learn about multiple computer softwares, um, word processing, presentation, spreadsheet, database, and email, along with the Internet. When we go on the web, or on the Internet, we are going to search for pages, and there are search engines available. Um, one of which, probably the most commonly used, is Google. And in there you can put in a search term and try to find the information that you are seeking. Um, there is an incredible amount of information out there and you always need to analyze that information to make sure that it's credible, it's reliable. Um, because there also are, um, there's a lot of mm, inconsistent or untrue information out on the web. When owning and running a computer, we need to be aware of computer viruses and other malware. So a computer virus is a computer or a piece of software that really wreaks havoc on your computer. Its goal is to either cause harm to your computer such as deleting files or it may be to steal your personal information. There's also adware and malware and those the goal is to track your movements um, or advertise it to you and that's all for marketing purposes. To protect yourself from these um, you certainly should have antivirus software on your computer. Um, there's McAfee, there's Norton, um, and there's a free one called AVG that you can download from the internet and install for free. If you decide to purchase a computer, I do not recommend going out and just buying the best one that they have to offer. Really consider how you're going to use this computer. Are you going to be running CAD? A, an architectural or engineering design program? Are you be doing graphic design? Or are you just going to be browsing the internet and typing a couple letters in Word? Knowing that will help guide you to the appropriate computer um, and get assistance with what hardware would be appropriate. There's also bundles. So when you do go shopping for a computer, they'll usually offer different bundles where they'll sell you the computer the monitor and a printer all for a single price. Um, and then when buying the computer, always be aware of the hidden costs. Um, if you return it, many places have restocking fees. So make sure you get those return or refund policies up front. Um, always use a credit card to purchase a new, new computer instead of cash. With a credit card, if it's misrepresented, you have an option to at least bring in a third party, your credit card company, to help dispute the charge. Um, there also are extended warranties and service plans, um, and there's advantages and disadvantages of those. Um, the advantages are you are 
prepaying for technical support in the future. The disadvantage is you may never use that technical support. So it's a gamble just like any other warranty. If you are purchasing a laptop or notebook computer, um, weight and size are usually very large factors. Um, you may want something that's very small that will fit in a purse, or you might want something larger because you want um, an easier to use keyboard and larger monitor. And that concludes our presentation on Introduction to Computers.